Is you ready? Let me see. What are we going to start with first? Oh my gosh. Okay. Where am I going to start? Oh boy. Women. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about that. Why you men dog always talk about women? I thought you were minding your own business. Mm. No steady big fellow. Oh, so a woman defends her affair because their love is real, in scare quotes, real, and says wanting to cheat is a good enough reason to do so. The fuck? <clears throat> All right. So the story goes to say affairs are a typically touchy subject. No matter what you do, somebody is bound to get hurt in situations like these. However, one woman ugh, is fighting back against the haters ugh, and defending her affair by saying that their love is real. <laughs> Chelsea. Hmm. Why does it always got to be a bitch named Chelsea? Hmm. Hmm. Light my shit up. There we go. Chelsea runs a TikTok and several other social media accounts titled Theo and the Wife or The Other Woman and the Wife as she titles her Facebook page. What? Now, this goes on to say her social media is largely dedicated to challenging how viewers think about affairs. In an introduction for her followers, Chelsea calls herself an affair apologist? Boy, first entanglement, now this. Mm, no steady big fellow. Yeah, man, I don't understand that shit. An affair apologist and says that she created her account to foster a conversation that helps humanize the people who do human things like cheat. <laughs> I don't. I do not believe that there are any good excuses or reasons to cheat other than the reason I wanted to, Chelsea controversially states. I wanted to is a damn good reason, damn good enough reason to do just about anything. So Chelsea, sweetheart, let me get this shit straight. If you, you know, you have two shots or two glasses of wine or what have you, anything to get you up to the legal limit, right? And, you know, you're pulled over by a cop. You're slapped with a DUI. Are you going to tell the judge you wanted to? Are you going to tell them that shit <laughs> when you're going up before a judge? I don't fucking think so. <laughs> She explains that she has had an affair over 10 years ago and has since married her affair partner with whom she now shares three children. Now, Mr. Affair Partner of Chelsea's, um, if you ever make it to my irrelevant ass channel talking about your bullshit story, look, bruh, if she did that shit to, to her old man to get with you, what makes you think she won't do that shit to you? For real though. You saying that is different, but what the fuck is different if you did it on him and you did it to me? <laughs> However, viewers on the app have been divided over how they view Chelsea's relationship, more specifically how they view the beginning of her relationship. The account under username at Theo and the wife, Theo W and the wife, which is run mainly by the wife, details their affair story. According to the wife, Chelsea, the two met 10 years ago at work and quickly fell in love. Uh, one place I don't understand, bro. All while both being married. I guess this is the one she is having the affair with. Okay. Under another TikTok in which Chelsea defends her and her husband's actions by saying that their love is real regardless of how the relationship started, users bashed her stance which they fucking should. Back to this. One commenter said, you're not capable of love when you're actively committing that level of betrayal against someone who loves and trusts you, which is correct. And then they go on to say, 
Oh, well, then another says, how you get them is how you lose them. Hey, yo. Right, right, right. I agree. Relationship experts also share these critical user stances. Of course they do. Oh, boy. In 2021, Mitzi Bachman, a New York City-based certified life and love coach, oh, God, told Your Tango, this publication, that one of the leading reasons not to have an affair is because your affair partner is most likely not your soulmate. I, I mean, damn, why would you even pursue the shit in the first place? <laughs> But this is what the bitch says. You're sure that you finally found your soulmate and that you were totally justified in having this affair. But this, I'm afraid, is just an illusion, she wrote. What you're feeling right now is that initial excitement that everyone feels at the beginning of any relationship. <laughs> well, she's not wrong there. She goes on to say, with people who are having an affair, that transition never happens because there is no committed relationship, just two people who are meeting clandestinely having a relationship outside of marriage. <laughs> all right, all right. And according to David and Cindy Taylor, the co-authors of Affair Care, what? Caring for your marriage after an affair, Less than 10% of unfaithful spouses actually marry their partner. So that's not good, bro. According to the Taylors, about 75% of these marriages end in divorce. <laughs> what? What? Are you serious? That, that actually does happen? Like, what the fuck? Damn. Damn. Oh, man. Oh, man, that, that's a slap in the face, but it's the truth, man. According to the Taylors, about 75% of those marriages do end in divorce. They're not wrong. Many pointed out that children can be hurt in the situation as well. True. To which Chelsea has an answer as well. I'd like to hear this bullshit. Some even shared their own experiences as children who found out about their parents' infidelity. I, for one, have had this situation happen to me, too. I've caught both of my parents doing their shit, doing their dirt. But as it came to be, as it come to find out, and this is my life, this is Psyche Soap's life, as it came out, as it came out, right, that in years later, and I found out years later, that, you know, they already cheated on each other back in the times where they were already seeing other people back in the time where I was being born, you know? And that wasn't right either. What the <laughs> See what I'm saying, you guys? Now back to this shit. Uh, one user wrote, I couldn't eat for a month after I found out about my partner's affair and I'm still dealing with the trauma three years later. Let's not. But according to Chelsea, it's not the affair that hurts the children, but rather the behavior of the adults involved. Um, no, man. That affair does hurt the children. Don't try to surgically cut that shit and, you know, turn our heads to focus on the justified behavior. And I put in, in, in quotation marks, justified behavior that you're espousing. See, females are quick to do that type of shit, you know, fellas. You know what it is. All right. Yeah, right on. And the story goes on to say, she argues that the children were most likely hurting before the affair. Okay, true. You don't think that those children were hurting prior to the inception of the affair? Chelsea asks. Still no fucking excuse, bitch. <laughs> Chelsea argues that affairs are nuanced and not black and white. Um, I think they fucking are. Hello? If you're feeling somebody, you better start working out the end of your motherfucking divorce. Get that straightened out 
and then get with the the who the the who or whatever potential partner it is. This is bullshit. Back to this story. Oh my goodness, more bullshit. If you could ever believe that, fellas. We can likely agree, all agree, that affairs exist in a moral gray area. Um, no, they don't. But Chelsea's account does give voice to a side often not heard in the in the shame and guilt that surrounds infidelity. Okay, let me do this. Do it like this then. Let me take a side step out the story real quick and stay in topic. Uh, what if this was Charles going through it? What if it was Charles going through it and he put up the married men get lonely to excuse? Y'all would be, I would like to say more than half of y'all would be down his motherfucking ass with both feet. And you know what? He deserves it. So does she. And another TikTok anyway. Chelsea says that she doesn't care to discuss whether affairs are right or wrong. In my situation, it was definitely wrong. Oh, I'll say. <laughs> She acknowledges, but says that is not the case for everyone. I've been greeted with too many women who are stuck in very, very dangerous situations to say that cheating is definitely wrong or definitely right. Instead, Chelsea says she's much more interested in unpacking why affairs happen. And in her defense, some viewers clearly are too. Several of her videos have comments from people who agree with Chelsea, or at the very least, are open to hearing her thoughts. People cheating is proof that we need to change the relationship paradigm. Our idea of them now is not working, writes one user. And in my opinion, in Psyche Self opinion, they're not wrong. Let me get back into this. I'm polyamorous. Oh, gosh. I'm polyamorous. So although it isn't ethical, I can understand the desire ability. To have multiple relationships, relates another user. Of course you understand. <laughs> of course you understand the desire and availability. I bet you. Uh, I bet you you was a, you know, I bet you you was a Karen, a Becky or something. And your ass was polyamorous. And um, they are lionizing the shit out of you nowadays, right? Because that's, that's a part of the woke stack, right? <laughs> yeah, we know that. Back to the story, though. And for others, the idea that Chelsea could help someone struggling with guilt or shame over their affair justifies her videos. That doesn't justify shit. But back to this. A co the commenter went on to say, you don't know who you're connecting with while sharing your experience. You never know who you may be helping, says another commenter. And they're kind of right. They're kind of right. They're kind of right on that. I mean, you never know who you affect, you know? It has a lot of fucking spillover. 